Alrighty then. Welcome back to an evening edition of Project D's Nuts. What do we got on the horn today? Well, wait, 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 wait just a minute. What did we do last time, Mr. D's Nuts? Well, last time we did the, uh, these two African plaques over here. Turned out really awesome. Pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with most everything I do. God has blessed me with talent beyond belief. But nobody wants to pay me for my talent. That's a shame. That's a darn shame. Right there. So we did the Africa. And today, we're going to do the, the bowling ball, bowling ball lawn ornament. What the hell is that? It's a bowling ball that we're going to make super duper pretty and we're going to put it on a stand and put it in my yard. Well, uh, yeah, let's get to it. And we're going to make a bowling ball, bowling ball ornament. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, it finally happened. I don't know if you remember this. I garbage picked this. The stand. And I said, I'm going to make a lawn ornament out of this. Well, I've been looking and looking. I finally found it. I went to a garage sale. And I got my lawn ornament. Two bucks. For this awesome bone ball. Only problem... Is that no matter how I have it, doot, doot, doot. they've done some engraving on there. So a few things I got to do first. Then these have been lasered. And I don't know if you could tell, I've picked out, it's almost like a chalky material after they lasered it. But once you take it out and clean it out real good, the color goes all the way through. So that's lucky what I'll do is I'll I'll put it on something and then I'll just pour the resin on top and just let it coat the whole ball after I get done with that and she got her name here Sherry Sherry baby oh yeah and this logo too it's, it's rather large so how am I gonna do that you say dental pick dental pick scratch it out scratch it out so here we go <laughs> project these nuts is working on balls <laughs> alrighty then so let's get to it so as I said we're just going to try to get this a little closer to the camera so you can kind of see it and you just start lightly because you don't want to put any big gouges in the ball itself either. And just seeing it's coming off. I don't know if you can really see that, but it is. So I'm not going to bore you with that because that's going to be very lengthy. Okay. Well. <coughs> There it is. I got all the uh, paint or whatever it is out of there. And oh, it was like three hours, man. My back is killing me. And then I realized, you know what? I'm going to cover it with the resin anyways, and it's going to look clear. So it doesn't really matter how deep it is. So I went to the Dremel drill. The, dr the Dremel drill. Most powerful hand tool known to man. 7,000 different bits. You can do 40 million things with this treble. So I used a, just a real pointy uh, tip bit. And I went around. If I would have done that, it probably would have taken me maybe a half hour. If I would have started with that. So, vroom vroom. Okay, good news. Excellent news. 
they only glue like the first mm, half inch, quarter inch of the plug on top. So I already taken two out. All you're gonna do is take your Stanley Fat Max and just run it along the sides and side a little bit at a time. Don't go crazy. Try to keep it flat on the sides. Funny, it went easier when I was off camera. Uh oh. Uh oh. Guess what? They glued the thumb hole all the way down. Does things again. Because it's dull. It's dull as a popcorn fart. As my dad used to say. I think we got her now. Come on. Pop that thumb hole, baby. Oh, it's, it's a harder plastic, too. So, now I'm left with that. But I don't care because I just needed to make sure that the concrete was going to stick to the inside of the ball. So, let's go to the concrete. And then I got this little plunger from a syringe that I can tamp it down with. Yeah. Pooch the smooch. Wipe your ball off. I should have sifted it and just used the uh, powder. Got the big rocks in there. I do not want the big rocks. See, this is already setting up. That's how fast Quick Creed is, man. <laughs> and we're back to watery. <laughs> There's a thin line, Johnny. I can tape that. Alright, so I just taped it. Now I can do the other hole. <laughs> he said hole. Drink it all up. Good. I was going to hot glue around it, but then I realized the logo is so round that if I pour it on there, it's just all going to seep to the sides. So I'm just going to uh, brush it on. So let's mix up some resin and brush it on, man. Brush it on. Brush it on to the people. <laughs> Whatever that means. All right, you probably can't see this. But I am painting in with the resin. All the lines that I scratched out, and as you can see, they disappear. Um, everything it dried up really nice, so from a distance you won't be able to see that. So now comes the pain and the pooper. You know it. It's what I love doing best. I look like the Joker there. You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? So now I gotta I gotta sand this entire thing to get all the the wax off from the bowling alley. And then once that's done, we'll mix up some resin and dump it on there. Alright. The ball is all sanded. As you could tell by the dullness of the finish. So what I've done was I put a piece of tape at the tippy top. And what I'm going to do is after I mix the resin, I'm going to basically paint. There he goes again with that basically, Martha. I'm going to paint this area to make sure the concrete 
and all this gets coated and then it'll give me the ability to have my hands on it and I know that that's the center top and I'm going to place it on a tiny cup which I'll show you in a moment and then I'm going to put a five gallon bucket over it well of course after I finish painting the whole thing with it <coughs> and we'll probably have to torch it probably should only have to torch it once because it's not like it's porous and it's gonna make bubbles so we'll see about that so this is the uh, little cup put a piece of plastic over it because plastic will not stick to the resin and I know it's gonna drip down and I didn't want to weld it to the plastic cup and then I've got plastic underneath it in case it drips out too bad shouldn't drip all that much because I'm gonna apply it with a paintbrush okay I forgot my gloves which is bad but it's too late I must carry on so now I must quickly brush the bottom of this bowl and I made way <laughs> once again I've weighed, made way too much Got my torch too. Son of a mustard seed. Torch these bubbles real quick. Nice that looks. Yeah. Oh. Hard to tell if I got it all. I didn't place this. I didn't place this in a very good spot. Oh, if it stays like that, it's gonna look awesome. <laughs> there it is. I wish I could tell you it was magnificent, but it wasn't. Um, I think I did not sand it enough. For some reason, I sanded the bottom really good. <laughs> the bottom came out really good. Um, and this is where I had the cup. I'm going to grind that down a little bit. Um, and again, if you wanted it perfect, you could grind this down. And then just take a paintbrush and, and brush some more resin on there and it'll totally disappear. But I'm not going to be too worried about it. But, can you see those spots? I think something got on the ball after I sanded it and washed it. I don't know if it's oil. You know, it might be stained from another product project I was working on. I'm not sure. But again, I could fix that, but my wife says it's nice the way it is. It looks like planet Earth. Very nice. Let me tell you, Mr. These Nuts, you've got some nice balls. So I think I'm going to go back and buy the other bowling balls from that lady. So I think I'm going to spray paint that black. The board will sit in there. <laughs> <laughs>
thusly. So we're not done quite yet, but we're on our way. Also, I want to let this cure for at least three days before I put it in here because these will actually, until 72 hours, they say you can still be affected by the glue. We waste a sequel weapon! So there you go, kids. Hey, everybody, welcome back to the Nut Ward. Yeah. I keep forgetting to say that the last couple shows. I haven't told you. We're in the Nut Ward. Corona filled Nut Ward. <sighs> well, what do we do today? Let's cut to the screen where the bowling ball's right here. Come on. Look at this thing. Look, look at this. It looks... <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. I garbage picked the stand. Cost me a buck and a half for paint. Got the bowling ball for two bucks. Sure, it took some time to drill everything out but we learned some stuff we learned a Dremel drill goes faster and the color of the bowling ball goes pretty deep so it doesn't really matter um, there's a couple spots on here you might be able to notice but um, I just know next time you gotta sand when you think you're done sanding sand it again you gotta get all that bowling alley lane uh, wax off it or Whatever it is. Oh, I tell you. It's not easy being cheesy. Oh, I wanted to show you this too. Um, I just, I was never happy with the lizard. Even after the second coat. But what I did was I sanded it all. I sanded him all down. And made him a little more even. Uh, with the sanding. And then I, uh, I brushed it on him. I, I brushed it on him. Look at his little feet. Come on. Is it focusing? I can't tell if it's focusing. But it came out really good. So I'm looking for <laughs> I'm looking forward to finding more skeletons, more little skeletons in my shed so I could resin them. Um, it came out pretty cool. So I was happy with that. But how about that bowling ball? All right. What what's a, what's next on the agenda, Mr. Dignoch? Well, Mr. Dignoch, um next next show um uh, my sister asked me to make my niece uh, a nativity house. You know where you put the nativity scene in there and, you know, Mary Mother of Joseph. Mary Mother of Joseph! Let's move this out the way. God, that's a beautiful ball. It's beautiful. I just want to cry. It's the Corona talking. Um, so, I guess they sell for about 65, 75 bucks online. And I'm going to show you how to make one. Um, obviously, you can't buy you can't buy it for me for less than a hundred bucks. But um, you can make one uh, on your on your own for pretty much a couple three dollars. Kids, thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. God bless you as always. Um, I love that you guys watch me. Uh, spread the word. Please share me. Like me. Ring the bell. Join the club. <laughs> Join the club. Um, subscribe. That's it. Subscribe. Won't you subscribe to me today? Won't you subscribe to me today? Hi boys and girls. Do you want to subscribe today? Um, everybody, God bless. Thanks for watching. Share me, like me, subscribe, ring the bell, toot the horn.
put the flag up the flagpole and call me, call me Gloria.